Shipping configuration. In this video, I will show you the different shipping options available in WooCommerce. I understand that every store owner has a unique approach to shipping. I will be taking a broad approach with this video and show you all of the different options and how to implement them. Also note, if you utilize one of the private or public carriers such as UPS, USPS, FedEx, DHL, there is usually plugins available for these carriers. These plugins usually allow you to calculate live rates based on the products or the order credentials. Oftentimes you may use a mix of both carriers, for example USPS for single order shipments and UPS for larger wholesale shipments. In this case, I would recommend utilizing these plugins along with a plugin called Table Rate Shipping. I will explain this later. It is obvious that the industry has shifted to promoting transparent shipping options along with free shipping to simplify the industry as a whole. To get started, I'm going to bring up two different tabs. I'm going to bring up WooCommerce settings, which we'll be able to get to our shipping settings in here. And then I'll also bring up WooCommerce shipping classes. And then we're going to click on shipping right here towards the top. The first thing you will notice is shipping options followed by all of these radio buttons and check boxes. I want to point out first that we have different tabs up here. If we look, we have flat rate, free shipping, international delivery, local delivery, and local pickup. For these, we're going to utilize the flat rate, free, and international shipping to show you each one. I want to briefly mention shipping calculations. This is allowing you to enable shipping on your store, enable the shipping calculator on the cart page, and then if you check this box right here, it would hide shipping costs until the address is entered. Shipping display mode. This is where you can display your shipping methods as a radio button or as a drop down. Shipping destination. Here's where you can default to the shipping address, default to the billing address, or we can enable only ship to the user's billing address if we wanted to ensure other forms of security in our store. For right now, we're going to default to the billing address. Restrict shipping to locations. Here's where you can enter in ship to all countries you sell to, ship to all countries, ship to specific countries only. And if we scroll down right here, we'll see our shipping methods as we have options such as flat rate, free shipping, international delivery, local delivery, and local pickup. Here is where you would enable your shipping settings and if you click on settings, it will bring you to the options for it. And you can also default it and drag and drop these if you wanted the different orders for your shipping. For right now, we're going to go ahead and configure flat rate. Before we do, let's go ahead and save changes. Now let's go to flat rate. If we choose to do flat rate shipping, this will help you with greater flexibility in your store. The first thing we'll need to do is configure a shipping class. As you see right here, we're going to select a shipping class and an amount. For this example, I'm going to use the subwoofers and I want them to be calculated as $10 per item. So first, let's go ahead and create a shipping class and this will be subwoofer flat rate and I also like to include my prices in the shipping class. As you can see right here, subwoofer flat rate. Now, before we exit out of here, we actually need to add this class to our product. So let's go ahead and add this class to our subwoofer. We'll add it to our kicker 10 inch right here. We'll scroll down and then under the shipping tab, we'll select a shipping class, subwoofer flat rate $10. We'll go ahead and update this. And then if we refresh this window right here, we should see a count of one as seen right here. Now we want to configure this as $10 for in the US only. So first what we're going to do is we might need to refresh this window. We'll click enable this shipping method. In availability we're going to make this to the United States only. Tax status. This is where your shipping costs are either taxable or they're non-taxable. For right now we're going to make them non-taxable. Cost per order. Here's where you can add an entire cost for the order. Additional cost. 
This is what I wanted to point out right here. We have three different options we can utilize for these classes. The first one you'll see is per order, which means it will charge based on the entire contents of the order. Next we see per item, which means that the shipping will be based off of per item each individually. And then we have per class, which means it will charge shipping for each shipping class in an order. So for example, if we added two subwoofers and they each had the class, it would actually combine that class in order because they are the same class even though there are multiple items. So let's go ahead and add per item. We're going to click add cost. As we see right here, subwoofer flat rate $10. We're going to add our $10 cost here. And then if you wanted to add a minimum handling fee, you can do this right here. And then below you'll see add on rates. Add on rates for extra shipping options with additional cost. Here you can customize your option names, your costs, and your per cost type, which would be your class. So let's say we wanted to add an additional 5% bump on this order. We would type in option name, which would be our 5% bump, and then our cost, which would be 5%, and then our class, which would be subwoofer flat rate. For right now, we're going to go ahead and save these changes. Now I want to add this to the cart and make sure that this is configured properly. So let's go ahead and add this to our cart. As we see, we have two of them in our cart. And then we look down right here and we see free shipping and flat rate shipping. This is because we still have free shipping enabled in the store. But we don't want this product to be free shipping. In that case, we would go ahead and disable the free shipping. And for products that we want it free shipping as, such as our polos or other items in our store, we would create another class indicating free shipping and configure that with those. So right now we see that it's calculated $20, which is $10 times 2. If we bump the quantity down and update our cart, it should indicate flat rate $10. Let's go back to our shipping classes. Now, since it wanted to charge us free shipping on the cart for these subwoofers, I want to go ahead and disable the free shipping method, and then we will calculate the other products with free shipping. So don't get confused, just bear with me right now. So we disabled the free shipping, we're going to go back to flat rate, and then we're going to go to shipping classes and put in free shipping as a class. And we're going to configure the free shipping with the rest of our products in our store. So let's go back to our products. We're going to edit all of the products except for that subwoofer. We're going to click edit, apply, and then we're going to go down to our shipping class and we're going to click free shipping. We'll click update. And this will update the remaining products as free shipping. Now, before they calculate as free shipping, we actually need to add this to our free shipping. So we're going to go down to shipping classes. We're going to put per item. We're going to add our cost. We'll actually have to refresh this really quick. We're going to click Add Cost, Free Shipping. We're going to enter in 00. We're going to click Save Changes. Now we have free shipping calculated for the other products. So if we refresh our browser right now, let's add three of them, which should be $30 in shipping, and the free shipping should be disabled. We should see flat rate $30 right here. Now let's say that we added a polo to our store it would calculate that as free shipping because we just configured the product as free shipping. So let's go ahead and add that to our cart. We'll view our cart and as we see it still remains as $30 because this polo is configured as free shipping. Now the last thing I want to point out is international shipping. It's important to separate your products from domestic and international shipping. It's the easiest way I found to configure the shipping method because generally your shipments overseas or out of the country are not going to be the same price as domestic shipping. So for international delivery, we're going to go ahead and click here and then we're going to enable this method and then we're going to do a flat rate of let's say $29 per order. So we can actually exclude one country to make this easier and we'll do United States and then we'll add this cost as $29.99 and then we'll click Save Changes 
And if we go back to our cart and we update our shipping location, let's do Canada here. We'll update our totals. We should see international delivery as $29.99. As you can see, configuring your shipping options can be easy as long as you simplify the process while setting it up. If we look back at our shipping options, we'll see that we do have flat rate enabled along with international. We can drag and drop these to the order in which we want it to calculate. So if we want it flat rate first and international delivery second, and we can also default flat rate too, based on the customer's location, obviously. Before I do end this video, local delivery and local pickup are pretty much self-explanatory where you can enable your local delivery and your fee type and also your delivery fee along with your allowed zip codes. So you can actually restrict these to specific zip codes within your area. Local pickup too offers the customer to come to your store and pick up the item. Now if you do have other options or choose to utilize the Carrier Calculated plugins, I do have another video explaining more in depth of the additional options you have when configuring shipping options with your store. For more e-commerce resources including guides, tutorials, and walkthroughs, visit actionecommerce.com. That's actionecommerce.com.